Welcome to this career talk about data science. In fact, we are in a data-driven world, and one of the key fields in data is data science. Data science is the process of using algorithms, methods, and systems to extract knowledge and insights from structured and unstructured data. It uses analytics and machine learning to help users to uncover patterns and build predictions, enhance optimizations, and improve operations and decision-making. The data science lifecycle starts with gathering data from relevant sources, cleaning it, and putting it in formats that machines can understand. In the next phase, statistical methods and other algorithms are used to find patterns and trends. Then models are programmed and built to predict and forecast. Finally, results are interpreted. In fact, we are also lucky today to have uh, Ms. Divya Gopta from NASCOM. Ms. Divya uh, has accomplished a technocrat and business leader career for more than 27 years of experience. Currently, she's working with uh, NASCOM uh, as the leading of the development of job competency standards for all emerging technologies and as part of the Future Skills Program. Uh, hello, we are pleased to have you today. Thank you, Dr. Adley. Uh, I would be glad if you uh, tell us about uh, more about your career, especially in data science, before asking questions. Thank you. Um, so I I started my career as a design engineer and VLSI designer at Intel way back in 1993. And I stayed with Intel for almost 25 years and I have done various roles in the technical field. Started as a design engineer, as I mentioned, and you know, gradually moving up to more business and strategy business development roles. I joined NASCOM about three years back and I've been working on uh, developing the competency standards framework for all the emerging technologies, like you mentioned, Dr. Adley. And then I also am heading the partner and solution ecosystem for future skills platform that I'll talk about later on in this um, session at NASCOM. So just uh, glad to be here, Adley. Okay, this is good. Uh, before starting questions, I'd like to add that with the volume of, uh, and variety of social, mobile, and device data, along with the new technologies and tools, data science today plays a broader role uh, and a broader role as well than ever before. So uh, would you please uh, elaborate about your future skills um, initiative with uh, NASCOM as led by yourself? So, Dr. Edley, I just want to take before I get into future skills, I cannot agree more with you on the importance of data science today, right? Data science is playing a critical role today in solving society's toughest challenges. You talk about climate control, response to wildlife, response to pandemic, predicting the needs of healthcare sources, designing clinical trials, policy recommendations. Data science is required everywhere. If you refer back to 2019, LinkedIn actually rated data scientists as number one most promising job in the US based on the opening salary and career advancement opportunities. With the rise in demand and data science and machine learning skills, we can totally see that 2021 this year may well be a witness to several new trends in the field. So completely agree with you when you talk about the importance of data science in our life today. So now moving from just specifically data science, if I talk about the NASCOM, so let me first talk about a little bit about NASCOM. So NASCOM is a national association of software and services companies, and it's a premier trade body and chamber of covers of tech industry in India. We have over 2,800 member companies both Indian and multinational organizations that have presence in India. Our membership actually spans across the entire spectrum of industry from startups to multinationals to global self, um, service centers to engineering firms. Guided by India's vision to become a leading digital economy globally, NASCOM focuses on accelerating the pace of transformation of industry to emerge as the preferred enablers for global digital transformation. 
One of the strategic imperatives at NASCOM is to reskill and upskill India's IT for workforce to ensure that talent is future ready in terms of new age skills. Our mission at NASCOM is to make India a global hub for innovation and talent. So when the world thinks digital, the world will think India. So keeping our mission in mind, the journey of future skills actually goes back to 2016. When the NASCOM report talked about reskilling, you know, half of 4 million people employed in the sector over the course of three, four years. So we're talking reskilling almost 2 million people in IT sector. There was never a greater need to build India's digital talent pool as it is today, right? I mean, India is the global leader in IT, but digital disruption can leave us behind if we don't act now. So this really required a proactive effort on the part of all stakeholders to manage workforce skilling and scuffling and make that a priority. So that's why this whole initiative with NASCOM as an enabler, the IT ITS industry came together and stepped up to the challenge with the Future Skills Initiative. So Future Skills is a e-learning platform that was launched uh, with a prototype by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2017. And, and the, like I said, as a prototype, and then the platform was launched later on in 2017. It's an e-learning online platform focusing on you know, emerging technologies and the professional skills for all, for the entire ecosystem. It could be mess, you know, academia, industry, and enterprises. So we all came together to ensure that our reskilling and upskilling initiative can be met through this. Uh, one of the initiatives was the future skills. Uh, there were several guidance. So this future skills platform that was launched in 2000 was for member firms and for academic institutions. Today, we have over 360,000 registered users on our platform. We have over 25 training partners on our platform. So uh, there was also some guiding principles that were taken into consideration in developing the Future Skills Initiative. It should allow for organizations to pool knowledge and learning content and yet not give away each company's secret sauce. It should be agile. Technology and tools are changing so rapidly that agility is, is uh, key. It should leverage the plethora of content that's available out there, right? So, uh, and you were talking about the competency standards, Dr. Radley, when we said, uh, you know, we are developing the competencies for these standards. And because we have this learning platform, what we have also done is to take an end-to-end -end learning experience to a user. We have worked with our content partners provide, you know, across the world in you know, using their content. Instead of us developing, an, developing our own content, we're using their content, which is meeting the learning requirements of our curriculum. So the content we have from our partners, they meet you know, all the theoretical requirements, all the hands-on practical requirements of the, core, of the learning outcomes of our curriculum. And that's how we have been able to bring the content from our content providers on our platform. And even if, so when you look at Future Skills platform, we have our content from our providers like Microsoft, OEMs like Microsoft, AWS, uh, Educate, Cisco, Adobe, where their standard running courses, their content is mapping 100% to our, uh, or to our um, curriculums. So this gives us confidence that, you know, the, the standards that we have developed, they are talking the language of the industry. So um, that's another thing we have. We also focus on the micro learning on our platform. So we have AI curated content, which we call digital fluency content, which is a micro content, micro learning, uh, where learners can actually, you know, spend half an hour, understand the basics of anything. And then they can, uh, you know, just be able to talk the buzzwords. You're sitting across a table and you, everybody's talking AI. At least you can talk, you know, by consuming half an hour of content. You can go talk about what deep learning is, what 
okay, I know what AI basically means, right? I mean, we don't have to be experts, but these, uh, this micro learning content that we call digital fluency exposes you to, you know, at least be familiar with the buzzwords, high level, what these technologies mean. So, and then we also have our industry experts who contribute on, from, on the content on the platform. So like I said, this um, platform went live in 2017. And when we, and the government of India, our Ministry of Electronics and um, IT was interested in taking this concept of future skills to the entire country. And we have been working with them and an MOU was signed with the intention of taking it to the entire country. And I'm so glad to let you know that in collaboration with MITE, which is Ministry of Electronics and uh, Information Technology, and NASCOM, we went live with Future Skills Prime, which is the e-learning platform for the entire country. Any Indian citizen can go on that platform and get access to the content we have from, again, our content providers, the micro-learning content, which we have curated through the AI engine on the platform. So we just launched that last year. We have other phases coming where we have more content developed and, and all, you know, more information coming on the platform. But we started the journey in 2016 and we have gone from, you know, just taking it to enterprise and academic institutes to taking it to the entire country. Well, very impressive, very impressive. And I'm really glad to know about your uh, initiative and about your efforts. And uh, glad to be uh, to know about also your leadership to this to this uh, successful story. Uh, uh, anyhow, um, if we come back to data science, in order for data science to be effective, its full life cycle not only must support traditional analytics, but in uh, its practice must evolve uh, beyond routine, tedious tasks as much as. 85% of the data science time is spent in cleaning and shaping and moving data from place to place, often to feed machine learning. That leaves only a small per percentage of time to find patterns and trends, to build models, to predict and forecast, and to interrupt results. This uh, is one of the challenges of data science. Back to, to the future skills. Uh, we were very impressed, and we are eager to stretch the hand of cooperation uh, to your uh, to your future skills initiative, as the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology, and as the Information Technology Institute (ITI). So, uh, how uh, can we cooperate? How would this cooperation can uh, go? So, uh, we are excited. We recently signed an MOU between ITI, Egypt, and NASCOM, and that's a start. We have had multiple meetings. We have we explained. We have gone over our competency framework with you, and I think it was very exciting to see that you guys were, your team was actually, you know, interested in understanding more about the competency framework that has been developed with NASCOM in collaboration with the industry. So signing an MOU, Dr. Adley, was the first start we did. We, I think jointly, we would be exploring the options of how future skills platform can be made available for Egyptian youth to reskill and skill themselves on the emerging technologies so they can be future job ready. Uh, again, we have gone into explaining and uh, you know, providing you the information on how we develop our competency standards. We have shared with you our, um, our you know, a framework, which is you know, very agile, flexible, modular. And the, and the, if you look at the unit of our competency standards, basically the tasks you need to perform in a job role, right? And then every organization can combine those tasks and figure out their job requirements. So it's a very flexible, um, you know, framework. And, uh, we would be very happy to support. Um, you know, in your organization and how this can be leveraged for your youth. And uh, we, we have offered the competencies. We also have assessments and we also have our, tra our content partners who are mapping their content. So we will be happy to collaborate in all these different areas and, uh, you know, make data science successful and, you know, youth job ready in this particular uh, role. 
we would be happier as well to uh, to um, to cooperate uh, as countries between Egypt and India, as uh, uh, the Ministry of Communication, Information Technology, and NASCOM, as uh, ITI as well. We would like to thank you for your time, for your valuable knowledge, and uh, thank you as well, and uh, wish you the best for uh, the coming years uh, with future skills. Uh, thank you, and if you like to add something at the end, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Dr. Adley. And like I said, we are um, we're excited to you know partner with you, and we look uh, to all the different opportunities we have in future to work together with. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, and see you soon. Bye. Bye.